Hey, Sam Tober, Sound of Joy Music Services. Sorry I jumped into the song so quick. I started testing out uh, which, um, what beat I want to use, and I just got a happy play. Uh, today's viewer request. This morning when I rose. This is a testimony song from back in my day. Uh, I may have done it in a more of a, of a Pentecostal style, which is up-tempo, but we're going to see if we can give you uh, what I like to call patterns that you can apply to the number system. First of all, we picked the key of E flat because there was no key suggested, but whatever key you find yourself in, the same techniques will employ. First of all, let's get our scales in place. Since we are in E flat, it's the note there. I'm not perfect. And no, I'm not going to sing, although I did feel a singing spirit in me. So this morning when I rose, it's a call and response congregational song, which means we're going to be in a jazz mode. Now I just did the uh, major scale, but we're going to be using some minor notes. So let's look at the minor scale, also the harmonic minor scale. Because we're going to be using elements of the minor scale also harmonic minor scale. Major minor chords is how I like to, to address it until I get a more technical name for it. So this morning when I rose, when you hear the melody, when someone starts to sing the song, you are up against a, I'll call it, not a studio singer. Now that is in the minor family of scale of chord which means that's where you can borrow your chords from. Now, this could be minor, and it could be major with a, with a tritone. It's where the last note ends. I didn't have no doubt this morning when I knows. I should sing. I didn't have no doubt this higher. So that is now the framework. We got our notes. We got some generic chords, which is of the seventh family. There we go. <coughs> A seventh and the E flat seventh. Getting choked up on the song already. So let's put our tempo there. Let's slow it down to a practice beat. Go down to 80, 80 beats. Baptist speed. There we go. And Final chords, but you're gonna look at. Let me hear me. But uh, jazz two six five. There we go. Right 
there. So framework. I'm all about working off the melody because once see, once the melody has been established by the person who is leading the actual song, then you can, as I say, extend or expand your range of chords. Now, see, I haven't put bass in there yet. You may not have a bass player, so I love to always cover every potential uh, note that you could need use from a practice standpoint. If you do get a bass player, then you'll know to put them in the one. <laughs> Put them in the four, back in the one. Keep them in the one. This morning when I rose, I didn't have no doubt. To the five, and now you let him walk. Can't take care of the five, six, for that, that drop. So let's look at, with our bass on it. Three, one, two, three, and. Once you know your melody line, your bass chords, where your, your bass chords by meaning your chord is going to be here, your chord is going to be here, your chord is going to be here, and those are your home chords that you know they're going to be somewhere clumped in here. Then you begin to expand by adding the bass on the bottom. Again, as you can see, the bass notes tie all the upper chords and the melody together. Now, when you're in the one, what's a pattern? A pattern is a series of chords, notes, runs that you're going to use while you're in that I'll call it that section of chords. If you're in the one, now you see me bouncing in the one. All of that is in the one, which are patterns. Now I have my own set of patterns depending upon how I hear the song being uh, being sung. If I have a congregation that is, that is um, lazy in their singing, then I'll go high. And I'll give them the jazz. That is a pattern to me. Those you don't just, it's hard to teach that without the, the person who is learning having, having an understanding of the movement of their hands. I can bounce right across a keyboard without even thinking about it. Without even thinking about it. So it's hard to teach that unless, of course, you work on chromatic scales and you know how to stop on a note. Until you get the ability to do chromatic runs and stop on the note of the key you're going to be in, that'll be hard to teach. But again, 
This is about giving you a demonstration. So let's get our rhythm going back up. Pattern one for you, for the viewer, is the bounce I gave you. Now, do you have to do the melody? No, the melody helps you to establish where your pattern or where your chords for what you're going to be in your selection of chords. This is the tritone bounce. Now, others may call that the, the stride. Stride to me is this. I consider that to be the stride touch. Mine I call the gospel bounce because I did not have the correct term for it and I have double bounces and, and triple bounces. That is not an easy thing to do. It took me a while to hear every note so that now when I do it, I don't even think about it. It's I can switch and jump in between, but I'm going to show you and I do have a whole series on the channel about constructing the bounce patterns that I use. So let's go and get our first pattern. When they start singing, here it is. This morning when I rose. This is the pattern. This is the pattern. This is the pattern. You can use. Pattern two, three, run. Pattern two, run. Again, this is your pattern one. Now, what I don't want to do is to give you something to replace what you're currently doing, but morph these ideas into what you're currently using so that you can have a, a greater selection. That's not all. Again, I'm not slowed the tempo down to actual practice tempo. Uh, this is sort of we're at the end of this viewer request. I'm going to speed you up to we'll go with Pentecostal speed. We'll try 110. Is that fast and too fast? 
that's too fast. Go back down to 106. Now here you gotta think at light speed. One, two, three, four, one, two, ready, and... Back up to the four, back to the one, five, one down, and walk it. Stay right there. But the idea is to show you where we're just practicing at a, gen a generic tempo. You will, will learn to build up your speed just from practicing. Sam Tober, Sound of Joy Music Services. As always, if you like these videos and you're not a subscriber, why aren't you? Give us that thumbs up like. And of course, leave a comment. YouTube likes to see comments in the algorithm. They push my videos out to more users. Take care now and see you on the next.